my name is Carrie. I'm with Tastings Wine Shop, and today I have Nate of JW Thornton with Hi. me. Uh, today we're featuring Springtime Wines. Um, no. Today we are featuring Springtime Wines. I love Springtime. Um, I bust out all of my floral clothing. Floral clothing. No, I said that right. I'm very Midwestern. <laughs> And as an extra feature and special tonight, we are offering all of four of these wines for absolutely free. Um, completely free what? today. Yeah, they're actually, I don't know what you're laughing at. They're totally free today. And I think that's oh, super cool okay. of us yeah. to do. Yeah, absolutely. They're, yeah. They're... April Fool's. I hope I got you guys too. Um, April Fools, they're not free, and sorry for the disappointment. So we'll go ahead and get started tasting. Um, Nate, take it away. Okay, yeah. So I'm Nate with uh, JW Thornton Wine Imports. Uh, we're a small independent distributor uh, located in Sun Valley. Um, we supply restaurants and uh, small wine shops here in town a couple times a week. Yeah. They ship the wines directly yeah. to me, and uh, they're the only person here. So happy to be here tonight. We've got yeah, three wines thinking. from California and one from France. And uh, we'll start with this Sauvignon Blanc here from uh, Pay Vineyards, second winery called uh, okay. Sep Vineyards. So Sep is just a, a French word. It means uh, vine. Okay. Uh, kind of an excuse for them to be a French little bit lesson. more uh, creative here. This is from uh, Russian River Valley, 40 year old vines from Hopkins Ranch uh, Vineyard. Nice. Russian River Valley is really foggy, a um, little bit cooler climate, known for mostly their their Chardonnays and their Pinot Noirs, but uh, this Sauvignon Blanc is super unique. Right? Yeah, it's awesome. It's very acidic, it's it's zippy, um, and it's a little bit less green than some soft blancs that I've had. There's a lot more um, citrus notes to this, yeah. like grapefruit and lemon and a little bit of like green apple to this. Sure, are you yeah. getting this crazy like uh, peach aroma to Oh yeah, I definitely glass? like white peach. Yeah, this is a cool wine. Um, it's definitely a springtime wine to me. Uh, porch pounder is what I like to call it. Um, drink this cold and drink it fast. <laughs> Absolutely. If yeah. you're looking for something also for your Easter table, this would be uh, really great with anything but citrus, seafood. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, lemons and springtime. Anything time. green. Uh, also, I think I could see this going really well with uh, ham. And uh, asparagus too. Oh so, yeah, yeah, asparagus. I can see that. Can we didn't really already. talk too much about uh, the history of the winery, but this is a family-owned winery, as are all four of them on the table here. This is a so husband cool. and wife uh, winery. This is uh, Nick Pay and uh, Vanessa Long. She's made wine at Hirsch and Peter Michael and also Ross Jack. Yeah, that's so. that is gnarly to me. Yeah, so cool. So, I love it. We've also got uh, on the shelf all the time here in the shop. Except Pinot Noir. So, yeah. yeah, we love the Pinot as well, um, yeah. and Pinot's light, and you can drink it in. You can drink it all perfect year, really, but it's time, also a springtime. Uh, yeah, Easter yep. wine as well. So perfect. moving on, we got uh, Provencal Rosé here from uh, Cuer Clementine. I love Clementine. Yeah, big shop favorite. This yep. moves really well here for you guys. Um, good local following here too. This is a Napa native who married a Boise woman. They're in town all summer long and then live in France uh, through the winter. Um, it's a winery that is located on the uh, Mediterranean coast in Provence. Yeah, uh, and I, I get that in the glass. Sure, yeah, notes of the, yeah. the sea here for sure. Um, yeah, I get, I get some like floral notes as well. There's some lavender in there. Yeah, Provence uh, really known for, uh, for lavender farming, so that's yeah. definitely something that should jump out. Provence is uh, also. Uh... We love these bubbles. I yeah. we love Clementine in general here at the shop, um, but these bubbles. Well, I I actually don't want to say they're more of a shop favorite. I guess both the still and the bubbles, but I really like the bubbles too. And I am so ready for this Melville. Okay, great. Yeah. Yeah. So Melville is uh, another kind of shop favorite. Um, this is a really cool winery. Started in eight, 1989 in Sonoma County, actually. Oh. And in uh, the 90s, uh, 
Ron Melville and his two sons, Brett and Chad, developed 92 acres in uh, Lompoc in western San Inez Valley. So this is sideways country. This is where uh, the fog rolls yes. in from the Pacific and cools down the vines all night and uh, chilly mornings too. So a uh, really good place to grow Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and also Syrah, which, as a matter of fact, we carry. are all available on the shelf yes. here too. So um, the Pinot, I think, is a classic pairing with duck, but yeah. uh, you know, also this one being a little bit richer uh, could be something that you could use with a pork tender one. Or and chicken thighs. Uh, some chicken darker, thighs. Yeah, Great. darker, yeah. darker yeah. poultry. I think the Syrah, really no brainer for lamb for Easter. Yes. And then yes. the, uh, the Chardonnay, roast chicken again, seafood. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, this is a really a cool wine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I really um, I really like this. Lots of um orange zest. Uh, I get some black tea on there. Black tea for sure. Yeah. And there's still like this eucalyptus kick. So that makes me kind of think maybe lamb too, even. You could probably do lamb with this. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. This is a really cool wine. It still has that like um, the tart fruits. So mm -hmm. I get cranberry, pomegranate. pomegranate. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I love it. And I am a huge Pinot drinker and I would absolutely purchase several bottles of this because, yeah. and I'm definitely coming home, going home with this wine because it's, it's beautiful. Cool. I had it for dinner last week. I oh, it. perfect. Yeah. Yes. Good press on that one too. And awesome. then moving on, we've got Turley Zinfandel here. They're I old love vines. Turley. Yeah. Nobody makes more pain, or pardon me. Nobody makes more Zinfandel yeah, in no. California than uh, than Turley. Yeah. From yes. Mendocino County all the way down to San Diego County, they work exclusively with Old Vine Vineyards. They've got three mm. different uh, wineries all over California: Napa, Lodi, and uh, Paso Robles. This one, the Old Vines here, is a collection of uh, smaller lots vineyards that don't go oh, into cool. single vineyard bottlings. Um, they won. They won some awards, right? The they are, absolutely have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The winemaker Tegan Pasolacqua is their current winemaker. Yeah. Um, he was winemaker of the year from San Francisco Chronicle in 2015. So Aaron cool. Jordan, the winemaker that kind of brought Tegan up in the business, uh, was also winemaker of the year and uh, going on to so cool. a lot of great things. Uh, so we've also got uh, Turley Ducey on the shelf yes. here. We love Turley. And uh, it's kind of a rotating cast of their single vineyard yeah. wines and tastings here. Depending on the uh, the release time of year, we've got a spring release and then a fall release too. So Turley's great too because I am I'm very sensitive to high alcohol wines, but I can drink Turley. It, do, it doesn't it doesn't overload me. Yeah, you know the, the bigger wines that from them we don't really if they're over sixteen percent, which you know. Tegan is the kind of winemaker being a shepherd who just kind of yeah. lets it happen in the vineyard. Yeah. Sometimes they're super ripe yeah. and sometimes they're yeah. you know, not as ripe, but always really well integrated. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and this one is kind of like, bram like I get pa a lot of pie notes. To this. Sure, yeah. Like it's like Definitely. fruit pie. <laughs> Chill this down, take it to a backyard Ooh, barbecue. Yes, and that's such a great idea. I love that. Well, we love Turley, um, and I hope that you will come in. And I just want to mention, as a quick reminder, all of these bottles are 10% off um, individually. And if you were to come in and purchase all four, they're 15% off. All of these wines are shop favorites. So the lineup tonight are, is absolutely awesome. And we also want to say thank you for supporting our small business here at Tastings Wine Shop. and keeping distributors um, in business. It's Thank you. It, yeah, absolutely. It's super important that we continue to support local. Um, and as our motto goes, life is too short to drink bad wine. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. <laughs>